Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. And to all those who have subscribed and will subscribe, thank you. And uh, those who have subscribed, who will subscribe, I will subscribe back. I'm kind of, uh, my voice is kind of in and out. Uh, I've been sick the uh, past three weeks, so please bear with me. Okay, this would be another attempt. I, I did lose a capacitor on this uh, Game Boy Advance. Uh, I'm just going to show you. Uh, I'm going to do most of it off camera, but I'm going to show you what's wrong with it. Um, I'm going to see if I, if, I, if I can find another capacitor to put on this because I am missing one. But I'm going to uh, attempt to solder uh, the ones that I, from the last video, I, uh, they fell off. <laughs> so, so I did have all the parts and then one of the capacitors I lost. So I will show you. I'm talking about here see um, this one here I will have to straighten out this capacitor here and then this one right here and I did tape a lot of it up and I will tape it as I go um, and there's um, this one right here so I'll have to tape around it when I do this one here and so basically what I'm gonna do is just, is just put them all back where they're supposed to one at a time and I'm going to take my time with it and then I've got to figure out what I can put right here because I'm missing that one I did have it I don't know where it, you know uh it fell off or blew away or something so but I did have them all except now I don't so that one's missing um and so basically I'm just going to go through here and put them all back um, or attempt to put them all back on uh, one at a time as I need to. I'll put this tape so it doesn't blow any of the other stuff away. And I'll just do one at a time and, uh, and then I'll get back to you. Um, and then I'm still going to put this on there, um, that adjuster knob thing. I'm still gonna put that on there and I do have I do have the capacitor for this one it's pretty big and I did scrape away over here as you can see it's kind of bright there um, and I'm gonna to attempt to put that one back on but I got to tape all this up here so that it doesn't they don't get loose and fly off and, um, and once I get all that done I will uh, show you the results if I don't mess it up anymore um, but I will need to figure out how how to put one on here I do have some different things uh, little strips with it They're really small I don't know no not sure what goes right here and I know it'll be something similar to this one here but I'm not sure but if I can't find um, one to put on here then I, I will probably have to wait to finish the video. Um, but I will do everything I can to fix this. Um, and I, if you watched the last video of this, I, all, all I was going to do is put that adjuster knob thing on here to adjust the screen. And what happened was all these blew away and it messed everything up. So, and it really doesn't take a whole lot to to ruin these uh, things because these these little uh, capacitors and stuff are very small so it's very easy to to ruin a circuit board and if you watch my last video it's kind of long about this um, you will see what all took place before and after um, but I'm just just doing another little follow-up video see if I can correct the problems here and uh and so i'll uh get back to you after i uh, attempt to get all these back in where they're supposed to go and then i'll go from there okay i got a couple of them on there that i'd show you i got this one done i'm just on there and i got this one done now I just got to come over here, this one's loose, get that one on, get that one, 
and and then I'll have this big one over here to do which I have off to the side and then when I if I can get these these taken care of and then I will go ahead and do this one as well tape it all up around and get that done and if I can get all these all these taken care of without messing them up then I just have to figure out how to put find a, a capacitor uh, for this one here and and then I will I will see um, if I can't find a capacitor for this then I'll just basically get everything else done and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do next for that um, but I will tape some more of this up and then and uh, do this this one here and then this one uh, this one gonna be challenging I'm not really sure if this is gonna work but but at least I'll have everything back on here except for that missing one and then I am going to put that on there that power uh, for the screen adjuster brightness I'm still gonna put that on there uh, I only need two of these pins there's three pins but uh, I will just do the two pins and somehow I will solder this down somehow so that this one will be down so that it doesn't move around it's, and it's on there really, really sturdy. Anyway, I'm, it's, uh, so far I've, i gotten two done, so I will work my way around the board here and, and I'll get back to you. Okay. Uh, everything seems to be going okay so far. I've got, um, that back on. Well, it came back off. But, uh, I'll just redo that one. Uh, I got everything else on except for this one here. And, of course, doing that part there. And then uh, that missing one. So, work in progress. All right, uh, couldn't get it on there, but it looks like that this capacitor here is connected to this spot, which is where that screen adjuster knob is going to go. So I did at least find find where this goes. So it looks like it goes through here and comes around to the capacitor on this side. And then the other side of the capacitor goes right here, all the way to here. Now I'm not sure how I'm going to connect this because it won't stay on. See, this needs to go right here, but it, it's not going to stay. I tried, I made the effort, and it just doesn't want to work. So basically, it looks like this. This is connected, and then it'd be connected to this on this side and then this side is connected to this part right here is what it looks like unless it goes right so I think what happens is it goes in and it goes around and then it comes back and then it connects there or it goes somewhere else I don't know how I'm going to connect this it won't stay on there so So what I figure is, is I'll go ahead and do this one next. See if I can get this on here. And then maybe run a wire. Or some somehow connect this to here. And, and go ahead. I wonder if I can just bridge this. I, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. But I wonder if I can just, just go, you know, maybe just kind of throw this over here. <laughs> It's hiding under there now. Um, I'm wondering if I can just jump it. I don't know if you really actually need these, but you probably do. Um, I'm not really sure what to do here when it comes to this. It doesn't want to stay on there. I mean, I could probably super glue it on there or something and then connect them. 
this probably would be a better idea to do but like i said i still need that one that goes over here i'm missing one but i think what i'll do is is i'll go ahead and do this next and then kind of see where where i stand with it okay what i'm going to do is is i gotta put this capacitor or yeah, this capacitor right here but I gotta glue it down because there's nothing holding it down. And basically it's gonna go all the way over here to this one for the one side. And then if you follow this, it'll, it'll go around to here is where that screen adjuster knob is gonna go. And then it comes back around right in here. So I'm gonna get this glued down and then I'm gonna solder It'll be like, basically like this. And I'm gonna solder that in and solder that into there. After I get it glued down, and then I'll move over and mess with this. And then I have one more of these way over here, under this. I have to find one that'll fit, because I do have, I think I might have one that might fit that. And and that will be so i want to get this done first because when i put this down it's going to kind of get in the way of this so i have to have this down first and when i get that done i'll tape over it and tie to i'll make the effort to kind of tape over this too and then go back to this and see about right in here messing with that part too maybe solder solder wire Or I just do a solder blob and kind of connect the two right there. And that'll take care of this one. I'm just going to find a way to get this down. Because this is a little it's a little too big, the one that I have. But I'm going to make do and, and see if I can rig it up. And then I can get this done. And then I just move over and find one, a smaller one like this. A little bit smaller. It will go under here, over here. And so I'm going to do it in steps. And then... And I'll show you the process uh, step by step as in the results because I probably won't do a lot of this on video. I'll just show you that I got it done because it's going to be very difficult to do it. So on video, I'll do it, do it a little at a time. Okay, got that. Got that here. This, uh, there's there's a hole right here and got that on there and that one and that one's not touching so uh, I didn't secure this very well it I'll have to I'll probably just put some hot glue over that to keep it from moving because that there um, stuff I have liquid tape I don't think that's a good thing to use because it keeps it keeps it's not sticking very well to it so I won't I won't be using that I used it a couple times and it, it peeled right off the board so all right so next I will put a wire here and run it over here to right here or right here but I can't touch this one here as long as I don't touch that and uh, and then I'll put that screen adjuster here so we're getting there All right, don't look the greatest, but hey, <laughs> it's on there. So from there to there, there to there, and then I need to put one from from there all the way that little line there to to in here. So when I go put that on, it'll it'll touch this this specific one. So basically, under here, it will basically, this here will touch this one. It's, uh, it's really small, so it's quite difficult. 
And I ended up losing another pad. That pad that was right there, it came off. So I lost this pad and I lost this pad. I can fix this one by connecting it to right here. But then this pad, I have no idea where it goes. Let's see if I can get this. Yeah. So I can focus that a little better for you. Yeah, see, then I, I was putting some more solder on there, and then that one came off. So it's just that one and that one. It's it's a failure. You know, it was like the last video. It's a failure. Um, but I did give it a go. I said I was gonna, going to make a, a second attempt with this, and uh, I... This came off again, this capacitor, and I had it on there, like you said, like I showed you in the video. It was going really well, and then this came off, <laughs> it came, it came off again, and I was like, ah, oh, no. So, uh, basically, this piece here, and, uh, doesn't take much to get hair on that, does it? I'm under the microscope. But if somehow I could get this back on, I don't really have the patience anymore <laughs> to work on this. And it hooked this to here, this part to here, and then maybe that to there. I still might be able to get it to work even I don't have that pad. But uh, there's there's a good chance it probably won't work though. Because you, you probably need that. Like if that was the positive... Um, this could be the positive too. A positive, positive, a negative, one of the two positive, one negative, or yeah, who knows? Um, but I did make a second attempt. You know, I might, I might do this if I ever get in the mood again. Maybe I can mess with it again. But I'm just gonna put it aside and just give up on it for now. There's just really no no point in uh, going any further further with it. And uh, these are old systems anyway. I mean, a lot of them, you know, if you got a newer system or if you have, have a, um, a modded one with a better screen, you'd be better off going that way. Um, I could probably just still use this for parts or something if I ever run any issues but you, you know you know uh life happens so you, you have to move forward um but yeah i think i'm gonna be i'm i'm gonna call it quits for this completely and move on to something else um i like some of them repair people says we can't do it in within 15 to 20 minutes and it's probably not worth worth messing with unless unless you're really determined to uh to um fix it because um you're just wasting your time um so um you know for those who who <laughs> had the patience to deal deal with this video uh you know combining videos uh, i really appreciate you to uh um stick around or, or skip through it or whatever you know at least watch a little bit of it but yeah i mean even if i got this on I got if I got this one on back on this side, um, I lost the pad right there. I mean, even if I got this one, it, it's just I don't have the right stuff. This wire isn't very good. I, I think it's too thick. This wire right here, um, it's too thick and it breaks. We don't know a lot of repair videos. You can bend these these wires, but this wire is is the wrong kind of wire. This is like a science wire. It has a magnet magnetism to it, um, kind of wire, and so it breaks. You can bend it just a little bit, and it snaps off. 
So that's the wrong wire. Like I said, if you don't have the right the right uh, equipment, the right supplies, you're gonna run into problems. And and but it, it's it's a how to how not to for beginners. You know this 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 kind of shows you just if you don't have the right stuff, you can't do it right. And I had issues getting the solder to stick. I might have the wrong solder. See how thick that is? How big that is? Yeah, it, I just ran into a lot of issues. Um, I think I got the wrong solder. Um, as you can see it here, how thick that is. It, that's too thick. And it's probably not the wrong solder. I think you probably need multi... Um, um, lead solder. I don't think this is lead solder. I think this is just unleaded, un unleaded, unlead solder. I think this is what this is, and it's real thick. And then I have, um, I'll show you. Then I have some more. It's even thicker than that. See, I mean, it's even thicker. But there you go. It um it is what it is. It's another video. Uh second attempt. I'm gonna move on to something else. I'll just I'll just see about uh gluing that down or something so I don't lose it. And I like like I said I I lost another pad right there and you know um, right there, lost another pad there, so, and like I said, you know, it was, it was worth a go, um, another shot at it, but I did get, I did get this to keep, uh, all the pieces from flying off, if I would have had this from the beginning, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, uh, messed, I blew all, the, I, this would have been on here, I wouldn't have had to be concerned with any of this stuff blowing off breaking or anything all i had to do is focus on this piece here and it's just it's just this is like i said this is another failure but but i'm learning you know i'm learning that's that's the whole point of it all too is to learn um as you go as long as you learn something realize you know which that what uh having the right supplies and equipment is everything when it comes to stuff like this because it's so small but uh thanks again for watching and I appreciate it. Um, subscribe if you haven't. And I will subscribe back if your settings let me. And uh, thanks again for uh, bearing with me. Um, on to the next video.